The British government signed a £67 million deal with Kinetic for its RGNS programme. That's robust global navigation systems. But what exactly does that mean and why does the UK government want it anyway? We're with Andy Beck from Kinetic. Andy, tell us about this new deal that you've done. Yeah, so as you said, MOD announced the, the award of the £67 million contract yesterday. Um, RGNS stands for Global Navigation Systems, robust for Global Navigation Systems. Um, the program is going to deliver the next generation of secure and resilient global navigation system receivers to UK forces um, to be used by troops in systems and on platforms to give them that robust and assured confidence of being able to understand their position, um, their ability to navigate and have precision timing, um, which as you know in our normal lives, um, the, the use of GPS has become ubiquitous, so it's a critical enabling capability for UK forces as they go forward. Now looking at the um, technologies that we use, now we use GPS all the time in our, in our military wars around the world. Now this is truly global, is it? So if we've got uh, the RAF using their fighter aircraft somewhere on the far side of the planet, this will actually work for them? Yeah, absolutely. And, and a key feature of the, the capability that's going to be developed is it will be what we call multi-constellation. Um, so as well as being able to work with the, um, the US GPS system, um, it will work with the other satellite constellations such as Galileo and um, GLONASS as well. Um, so the, the system will therefore be providing um, multiple views on that uh, position, navigation and timing set of requirements. So further improving the resilience of, of the information that the, uh, the system needs to provide in, in terms of timing and, uh, and position. Because before we've always had the concern that, that we don't control it. Does this actually mean we can control our GPS ourselves and not have the fear that another nation may at some time or another wish to turn us off? Um, so yeah, I think you're absolutely right that obviously the, the, net, the networks, the satellite systems that we're using are the ones that are out there. So I mentioned three of them. Um, so a key feature of the GNSS solution is that it's not just reliant on GPS or any one of the other systems. Um, so we're getting three or more looks at the information um, and the system will be smart enough in terms of its signal processing to be able to effectively do a compare and contrast. Um, so we'll compare the GPS result with the Galileo result. If there's anything that looks unusual or anomalous, one of those signals can be, one of those inputs can be discarded um, to provide a more confident output from the system. Does that make sense? Okay. And now you've got the money. How long will it take before you actually can deliver this? Okay, so the plan at the moment in, in terms of the program is that we'll have first product becoming available in um, 2022. So it's a couple of years from, from this point. Great. Andy, thank you for joining us. Pleasure, thank you.